Hey everyone, I'm Miss Stacy, and I wanted to share just a quick math tip with you about a strategy you can use for mental math. It's called double and half strategy, and my students absolutely love using this strategy to solve mentally. So doubling and halving is a multiplication strategy that students can use to simplify problems. So for example, let's say a student had the problem four times 54. Okay, they would half one of the factors and then double the other factor. So for example, they might half four to two and then double 54 to 108. And that makes this problem easier to solve. So this is something that they would do in their head mentally, okay? So they would see four as a factor, half it and make it two and then take 54, the other factor and double it to 108. And that would make it easier to solve. They would think two times 100 is 200, two times eight is 16. And that would give them 216. And that's a lot easier, simpler to solve than four times 54. So um, that's an example of doubling and halving. Another good one would be 25 times 14. So students would see 25, okay, I can double 25 and get 50, and then half 14 to get seven, and that makes this problem much simpler to solve. So 50 times seven is 350. Another good example of this would be five times 28. So they would double in half. So again, they would double five. Okay, that's 10 and then half 28, that's 14. And then they could easily in their head do 10 times 14, which is 140. This even works really great with larger numbers. For example, 125 times 80. So they may see this and think, okay, well I can double 125 to get 250 and then I can half 80 to get 40. And they may even want to do the double and half strategy once more to make it even more simplified and double 250 again to get 500 and then half 40 to get 20. And then they can easily do this multiplication problem because it's much, much simpler. Okay, so um, they would see, okay, five times two is 10 times 100 times 10, that gives them 10,000. Okay, now an important part of this double and half strategy is un the understanding behind it, okay? Because we don't want to just tell our students how to do something, we want them to understand why it works. So let's say, let's just take a, a smaller multiplication problem for the moment so that we can illustrate this. Let's say that we have four times five. And I'm gonna show you this with an array. So let's say that we have four groups of five. Okay, so what we would do is we would half that, half, you could half the four rows, and then that we would, by halving the four rows, we would move these up with this row, okay, and then this row would move up with this one, and then we would have two rows of ten instead of four rows of five, and that's might be simpler for them to solve two times th 10 than um, to solve four times five. So helping them see that connection, um, that therefore they'll understand why that strategy works, okay? Now, this strategy does not always work for every problem, okay? So some, well, it does work for every problem. It just may not be, it may not make the problem simpler to solve. For example, if you had 25, times 37, both of these factors are odd factors. So if you were to half one of them, that would give you a fractional amount or a decimal. So like, yes, you can half 25 and get 12 and a half or 12.5 and then double 37 to get 74, but that doesn't make the problem any simpler to solve. There's other strategies that would be more efficient. Okay, and then um, also other another example might be 37 times 28. Again, they could double 37 to get 74 and half 28 to get 14, but it doesn't really make the problem any easier to solve. So not every problem is going to, um, is double and half gonna be the most efficient strategy for, but those are the kinds of questions that you wanna ask kids so that they can um, really own that information. They can explore it and learn that on their own. So questions like do doubling and having, does that always work? Um, what problems would this strategy work best for? 
uh, what kinds of problems would not be well suited for doubling and halving and let them explore those kind of things. And that will help them with uh, gaining a better understanding of the strategy doubling and halving, which is really great for helping students in their mental math.